Hello. Okay. Next tutorial. This tutorial is something, is part of something so amazing that I was just so taken aback to be asked and I thought this is going to be epic. So it's actually a collaboration with my most favourite makeup artist on YouTube and like all of them, it's amazing. Um, at, and I'm going to get this right. We've got I Wanted to See One Video, Claire Delis Art, Midnight Vampage, Anna Arthur 81, Vintage or Tacky, Beautiful UTV, and of course, me! <laughs> so, uh, how amazing is that? So, the idea is, I mean, it was Claire Delis that, that, that said, let's do a collaboration, and she came up with the theme of queens. So, the idea is that everyone chooses a queen of something, and goes from there. I've chosen, hopefully this comes across, the queen of the underworld. So, hopefully, queen of the dead, or queen of the underworld comes across with this. I think it kind of looks like Queen of Mardi Gras myself, but... <laughs> so I'm going to post the pictures in this video of everyone else, or all the other photos, all the other makeups from the collaboration, just so you guys can see them and see how amazing they are. So I'll put the links somewhere in this video and obviously in the description bar below to everyone's part of the collaboration, just so you guys can check them out because they are so stunning, they're amazing. So thank you guys so much for asking me to do this with you, it's awesome. Um, and yeah, so if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So the first thing I want to do is actually talk about my board cap that I'm going to be using. Um, so as you all know, I always make my own board caps. Um, this time I've done something a little bit special. Um, I don't usually make a habit of preparing my prosthetics or colouring prosthetics before a look because I like to show you guys how I'm doing it. But in this case I had to make an exception. So this is what I've, I'm using. So it's a regular one of my regular ball caps. What I've done is I've stuck um, quite a few of my prosthetic horns that I've made. Um, in the small, medium and large sizes. Um, I use the small ones for my Darth Maul tutorial. These are the ones I sell on my website. Yeah, another shameful plug, I'm sorry, had to mention it. <laughs> um, I, I made them literally by sculpting a single horn and casting it out of plaster and making latex replicas. So I stuck them on the board cap because I thought it would be a lot easier than doing it myself once I've applied it. And I coloured them, literally with some black, um, acrylic paint and some light blue acrylic paint because I know that's the colour theme, that I, the colour like style that I want to go with. So the idea is it's meant to be like the crown. So you can kind of see it there. I've, I've really painted it roughly because I'm going to go in and neaten it up myself once I've got it, everything covered just in case I start to change some of the colours. Yeah, but so it's like a crown. <laughs> so I'm going to block out my eyebrows and apply the bald cap. I'm not going to show you guys how I'm doing it in this video because I do it in many of my videos. So to save time, I'm going to put a link here and here to two of my different tutorials teaching you guys how to do that. So as you can see, I've covered my ears as well with my ball cap and I've blended the edge with liquid latex. So you have to make sure that your eyebrows are completely covered, like I've got spirit gum wax and then more spirit gum over the top of them because I'm going to be covering my eyebrows and my whole forehead um, with liquid latex. Like I've started doing in a lot of my uh, tutorials, instead of using already made prosthetics, it's easier to show you guys. So I'm going to be using regular tissue paper that I've torn into so I've got the really thinner half and I'm going to saturate it all in the liquid latex and cover my forehead with it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the liquid latex to start off with, and I'm just going to coat the area that I want to cover. So you haven't got, I haven't got to worry at all about coming over your eyebrows, because as long as you've covered them well enough, it's not going to pull any lashes out. So don't worry. <laughs> so that's the whole area there. So it's literally just my brow, um, and it stops just at, after the eyebrows finish. Um, so the idea is, I'm going to build this up. Uh, well, after I let this dry, I'm going to apply another layer of liquid latex, and I'm going to put a thin layer of tissue on in small patches and just saturate it in the latex. You'll see me doing it. But the idea is to build it up so that I can have the prominent brow, and I can have. I'm going to build the, up the my bridge of my nose to make it look almost like an animal type look, like I did with my um, not an animal, but that kind of creature, but like I did in my elemental um, lava inspired tutorial. So that prominent brow. So it's probably going to take about, I mean I did about 10 coats for that look, so I think I'm going to do that for this time. <laughs> so I'll take thin strips of the tissue like this, and I'm just going to press it in the place that I want it over my eyebrow and the wax. Not wax, well yeah I suppose, but um, liquid latex. And then I'm going to saturate it with some more liquid latex, so it's completely coated. So I'm going to do that all over my brow, in between, and then let it dry, and then do it again 10 times, and I sh I'd hopefully ha should hopefully have a nice built up brow. After you've done about three coats, try and stay away from the edges now. So you'd have more of the ten layers in the middle and more three to four layers on the outside just so it tapers off because you don't want this harsh line where you've got your prosthetic. By the way, I'm making the bridge of my nose wider by taking just a rectangle piece of tissue and placing it just in the centre like that and tucking it under. So 
it looks like that and then I just saturate it with the tissue next I'm going to take some Snazaroo Clown White all on its own, I'm not going to mix it with anything and I'm going to apply that all over my face stopping at my jaw and I'm just going to cover the prosthetic just really lightly dabbing it and all of the ball cap on top so I'm going to apply that all on first and then buff it out with a kabuki brush Then I'm going to take my kabuki brush and I'm just going to start buffing this in. Being really gentle on the prosthetic though, you don't want to pull up the edges. And I've not gone over my eyelids because I'm going to colour that in a completely different colour and I don't want the white to taint it at all. So once you've done that, I'm going to take some Grimace translucent powder and I'm going to press that everywhere wherever I put the white just to set it in place and make the colour a bit more even. There we are. So now I can start bluing myself up. <laughs> so I want the main theme here, obviously you know all the horns, but I want the whole theme to be like a... Uh, with Underworld, I associate like blues and purples and blacks. I, I wanted to go the opposite of, of like a devil, basically, um, instead of the horns. <laughs> I don't want to go red and stuff like that. So, uh, so I'm going to use a Grimace number three eight four blue eyeshadow. Reason I'm using this and not the usual Mac, which I might use in a bit anyway, but uh, for now it's just because it's such so highly pigmented. These colours, these eyeshadows, and I use them for a lot in my body painting, but I just think it'll be easier to cover a larger area. So I'm going to use this to contour my face, but I'm also going to have it as a light coat on, on, on most of my face. It's just going to be darker wherever I want this, the hollows to be. So if I start just by covering my cheeks first. And I'm just going to keep pulling the colour down. I'm just going to paint, not paint, I'm just going to put the eyeshadow just around the horns and pull it into the centre. Okay, so try not to get too caught up with the bl uh, blending for now because once we do the eye makeup, we're going to cover a lot of this anyway. It's just to get the cut, the shade there. So I've got a nice little hint of blue all around there, and I just did some darker cheekbones just for now, just so I know what areas I need to not cover. Because this whole area here, I think I'm going to have like not a mask, but it's going to be all spiky, like my dark sparkle tutorial, but not as sparkly basically. So then I'm going to use my Snazaroo watercolor in sky blue. And I'm not even going to use any water with this. I'm just going to use it just to mark out the, tr the lines that I want. Um, and I'm going to use a really, really stiff angle brush so I can get some really, really sharp lines of it. So, let's see. So, I'm going to have, like, this almost masquerade type mask built into this look, I think. So, let's see. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same, like a reverse pattern underneath. So it doesn't matter how neat this is because it's just guidelines for you to colour in afterwards. I'm then going to take a black Snazaroo watercolour and I'm going to put that all completely on my eyelid and uh, ever so slightly underneath because I'm going to smoke that out and it's going to blend into the next colour which is going to blend into the next colour. And I've just gone up slightly just to give it the angry brow that I, like, that I usually give. <laughs> I'm then going to take a Snazaroo, another Snazaroo watercolour in purple and I'm going to put colour in that almost almost all of this shape except it's going to stop just as it gets to the point so it's not going to go any further than the points to about there because that's where the blue is going to go. So it should start looking like this. Then I'm going to take, you guessed it, uh, my Collection 2000 eyeliner pen and I'm going to really, 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 really gently draw on the line of all of this, the outline. Oh, by the way, I went with this mask-like effect. I took it out to the sides there. I'm not sure if I want that yet. I might change that. I might taper this off so it just blends out, but we'll see. <laughs> see, this is what happens when I make this up as I go along. I tend to change things at the last moment. <laughs> So then I'm going to carry on with the pen, but I'm going to colour in the spikes, just the tips of them, till just before they start, So I want to blend that black into the purple. So it turns into that. Okay, 
Again, don't worry about the colours being blocky because I'm going to blend the black into the purple and that purple into this colour here. And I might have some white in the corners as well, but we'll see as we go along. So I'm going to do that on all four of the spikes and get back to you. There we are. So I'm all spiky. <laughs> so now I'm going to take a black Grimace cream. This is number 101. It's just a black cream, basically. And I'm going to use that really lightly just to smoke. It's more smoky out. I mean, blend really the black into the purple. Just on the top and bottom spikes, not on the eyes, because I'm going to do something different there. I'm then going to take a pink Snazaru watercolour, and I'm just going to do some flashes of pink in this, I think, just so, like, like in the, it, as highlights, I think, so the centre and working outwards. I'm just going to take the rest of that black cream and just go along the edge of the entire mask and blend it inward slightly. Not very much, just only a little bit. And then I'm going to put some MAC fluid line in the waterline of my eyes just to make them extra dark. Actually, I don't know what I was thinking. I am going to smoke you out my eyes as well with the cream. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about doing. So <laughs> I'm going to take the black cream and do exactly what I did on the spikes and the edges. Just blend them out ever so slightly. So then I'm going to put on some false eyelashes. And I'm using, again, my Only Ways Essex lashes, um, which in Scandal, I believe these are. So quite long. I mean, not ridiculously huge long, but... Yeah, because I don't want this to be too drag queeny. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put those on, and then I'm going to apply some mascara in Maybelline Colossal Volume. I've not actually used this one yet. I've been dying to try it, so now's a good time. Actually, sorry, Colossal Volume Express. <laughs> we shall see. I am actually super impressed with this mascara. <laughs> Who knew? Because I usually use my Maybelline Illegal Length mascara, but the... This Colossal Volume Express one seems quite good, so I may be using that one in the future. It smells quite funky though. <laughs> For the lips, I'm going to do a fairly big lip. Um, I'm going to do it with a 37 Barry M Black um, lipstick on the outside, working towards the middle with, I think, this number LP630 or 625. No, I think I'll do this 630. It's uh, from my Crayolan lip palette. It's like a purple lip tint. In the middle, just so it smokies, smokies in. I use that word too much, so it blends in together. And I'm just going to dab a tiny bit of my Barry M number four, which is basically silver glitter. I'm just going to press that in the centre. And there we are. So I popped in two mesh whiteout contact lenses so I can still see. I just It just looks like I've got really dead eyes. Um, I popped on this coat. I know I use this coat in a lot of my tutorial, tutorials and I'm sorry for recycling costumes, but um, it just goes with a lot of makeup. So, <laughs> And I've got this black overcoat type costume, I guess you'd say, just to go over it, just to give me the wavy arms. And yeah, <laughs> um, the neck piece is a little bit more difficult to explain. Basically, I didn't know what I was going to do for this collaboration, so I thought, okay, well, I want to do something like big and sparkly, so I made this neck piece, um, and I worked backwards. So, yeah, <laughs> basically, so I've been making it up as I go along from this. I made the neck piece by literally cutting really, really big strips of card out and curling them under, and I stuck them all together on an Alice band and just applied those gems to them. It not, wasn't that difficult, really. I can do a tutorial on it if you guys want, but... You yeah, will see. <laughs> so thank you guys so, so much for watching. And thank you so much, for everyone, for taking part in this collaboration with me. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and I really love everyone's looks. They're so stunning. I hope you guys like mine. <laughs> I hope it fits in with everyone's amazing looks. So, yeah. but um, So thanks, everyone, for watching. If you like it, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, the usual. And, yeah. So until next time, bye.